do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. So we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, we got some craziness, man. Today we got some absolute craziness that we're about to watch. This girl was 12 years old and pregnant. And this is like her story time telling about how she was 12 and pregnant. I don't know if she has the kid right now. I don't know nothing. The title is literally 12 and pregnant. Story time. You know what I'm saying? I made that video a while ago, reacting to all the little kids, like the youngest parents in the world. And there was some people that gave birth at 13, 14. I think that the youngest was 13, maybe 12, I don't know. But 13, 14, 15, 16, man. And if, I, if my daughter ever come home, and she out here thought, and at 12 years old, she's not my daughter no more. She has been disowned. She has gone out of my face. You know what I'm saying? But um, we finna watch this. Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. How would y'all feel if y'all daughter came home and told y'all she was pregnant at 12 years old? How would you feel? I wouldn't even know what the heck to say. But we finna watch this. Before we get into the video, enjoy.com, my two good third free my lap, say stuff for the If you guys want me to react to anything specific, hit me over there on Instagram at Juver underscore. Send me the link to the video. If I react to it, I shout you out. Send me something spicy, something interesting. Don't send me videos like from UDY or nothing like that, because I, I see them myself. I'm subscribed to them people. Send me stuff I have not seen. Some 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 stories spicy like these. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let's just hop right into this. So I guess this is her right here. I don't know who that is in the back. No idea. Okay, y'all, so this is story time on how I end up pregnant and a mother at 12. So whoa, 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 and a mother? Okay, that's different. You could be pregnant at 12, but not a mother at 12. You could be pregnant at 12 and had a baby at 13, which is still very young, but pregnant and a mother at 12, okay. I went to South Carolina um, for the summer, which we actually ended up staying longer. And my aunt was introducing me to everybody, like her in-laws and all. One of her in-laws is like 17. I wanna say he was like 16 at the time. He caught my attention at the time I was hanging around people that was older than me. I did not look like I was 11. Cap. So my aunt was introducing me to everybody when we came down here for the summer. And mind you, I have one older brother and two younger brothers and everybody's older than me and I grew up with nothing but boys and some girl. My older cousin, she was about 17, 18 at the time, she told me that I need to be in a child's place and stay away from teen boy. I didn't think nothing of it, so I was hanging around with everybody. But again, y'all, this one boy caught my attention. First of all, you 11. Like, why did you even think about, like, dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, you 11 years old. What? What 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 are you supposed to be thinking about Roblox and, and Minecraft and, and, and playing with your little dollhouse, not about getting piped down by some dude, you know what I'm saying? He was at the time I thought this boy was fine, bad to the bone. I'm running out of time. Like, okay, I'm part two. So after my aunt finished introducing us, they told us all to go play outside. I'm a tomboy, again I grew up with nothing but boys, so at the end of the day I was playing outside with them. Then we started playing hide and go get it. I did not know what what's, what's hiding. Was. What's okay. hiding? Go I get it. Know. So we playing how to go get it, and I just so end up happen to be with him. So he's helping me through the neighborhood while we're playing because it was a big ass neighborhood. And then we ended up back in my aunt's house. Now this is the part when they start. We start talking to each other and asking like actual questions, like how old we were and all of it. Now we started going over our ages. I told everybody that I was 10 turning 11. So it's not like people did not know. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you keep going back in age, lady. First you said 12, then you said 11, now you're saying 10. What's really going on, woman? But again, y'all, I told y'all I did not look my age. I looked older. And then he was just telling me how pretty I was, how cute I am, this, that, and the third. I was fine, this, that, and the third. And me being 10, I did not know exactly what that meant. Okay, y'all, I am running out of time. Okay, so part three. So now Wait, wait no, this is crazy. Am, no, pause real quick. I, I don't want to pause this video so much, but 16 calling a 10 year old pretty and cute and, and with all this other stuff? I, I, I don't remember when I was 16. Ain't no way in heavens. I was looking at no 10 year old talking about, oh, she pretty. Oh, she set y'all. Yes, nothing like that. Man, what's really going on, bruh? Whatever the case may be. And now at this moment, we're hanging out even more. I'm hanging around them even more because my mother done lied about us being in South Carolina only for the summer. It ended up being for the damn school year. So now here I am entering the fifth grade. 
just started my period and all. My mom oh, been talking days. to me, letting me know about period, being pregnant, boys, all the stuff like that. So I'm just listening to my mom like, nope, I'm not getting pregnant, I'm not having sex, I'm not doing none of that. Can't nobody talk me into doing it, okay? But again, y'all, I liked it, this boy so fucking bad. So here I am hanging around them now all the time because now I live in South Carolina and I'm going to school in South Carolina and I'm seeing them all the time. I'm going to football games, basketball games, everything. So now, this is the night that it happened. So he had a football game. And of course, because in my head that was my man, I went to the football game. And let me tell y'all something real quick. Public service are fucking nasty. This man was claimed to be my man because we were already together. Okay, y'all, part four. So this is the night that it happened where I actually lost my virginity. So after the football game, they came down to my aunt's house because at the time we were staying with my aunt. And nobody was home. Nobody was home at all. So since nobody was home, of course, a nigga going to sweet talk you out to draw. And again, I'm 11. So, mind you, 11 though, like 11, bro, and he's 17. Come on, man. We've been kissing and whatever the case may be. So now we're kissing and touching and whatever the case may be. And now it's time to do the do. Of course, me being me, I was scared as fuck. But I'm like, at the end of the day, I like this boy. And I was told by the boy, if you love me, you would do. The worst mistake. Oh that boy. I did. Oh that boy wildin'. Yeah. That boy that boy is a that boy is a he's that boy is a creep. That that he said if you love me you would do it. And he knowing that that girl is eleven years old, her brain is not developed, she don't know what the heck she thought she she don't know how to think properly. And she just gonna go with that. Oh that man is sick. That boy is sick. Every day, okay? So now he said that and I'm like, damn, I love this boy, so let me go ahead and do it. So we ended up doing it. This was the first time ever that I did the nest. No protection, no none of that. So we didn't use protection and you know in my head I'm like, if I'm on my period, I can't get pregnant, and that's what it was. So now at this Ooh, point, not I the clappers sex. on the period. Wait, they, she eleven with the bloody Mary and the dude. Man, I can't do this, bro. Okay, y'all part five. So now at this moment, I'm. How many parts is it? How many parts? This is ridiculous. Oh, she on the Bloody Mary dripping down the side of her leg. First time, she's 11 years old. This man, 25, basically. This is crazy. And constantly, because in my mind, this is my man. So now, fast forward to November. I'm getting thick, and y'all, when I say I'm getting thick, like my boobs are growing bigger than what it is, my butt is growing bigger than what it is, and I already have an ass. So now he's looking at me. He's like, "What are we gonna do with that?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" So I start notice I'm sleeping more when I get home from school. Like I'll do my homework and I go straight to sleep. And my mama start to notice something was wrong. So y'all, I had a little pudge or whatever kids can be, which I'm not known to have a pudge. So my mom looked at me, she was like, mm, something ain't right. You're not known to have a pudge? Damn, man, man this ain't a rose. Hey, right, let me check you. So my mama laid me on the bed and checked me down there, literally. And I'm just like, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you checking me? What's going on? So this is a constant thing. We're having sex. I'm being sleepy. My mama checking me, whatever case may be. So now we get to my birthday, which is in January. Okay, y'all, I'll post part six in the morning. Man, post it, bro. Y'all ready for part six? Okay, y'all, uh, so now I fast forward to my birthday. My mom, me and my mom got the same birthday, um, and we took a picture together. My mom sent a picture to my aunt in New York. My aunt in New York was like, mm-mm, something don't look right. Kiara is getting bigger, and I'm never big. So then my aunt in New York was like, y'all need to go get Kiara checked. She look pregnant, and if y'all don't get her checked, I'm calling DSS. So that was the 7th of January. Fast forward to the 27th. My mother called me off the bus on the 27th, my full government name, in front of everybody in the front of the neighborhood. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, chill, you embarrassing me. What's going on? You embarrassing me! You, the, oh my days. She took me to the hospital. And she was like, we're going to get this test done so that way we can prove everybody wrong. A few hours go by. The doctor said, mom, good news is she ain't got no STD. Bad news is your daughter's pregnant. I'll post part seven. I'm sorry, y'all. Here's part seven. So now my mama in the hospital flipping shit. She calls my daddy, let him know that I am pregnant. Man, what did dad do? He's crying and doing a Crying? Mess. Ain't nobody crying. I'm on the gym because I'm finna strain you. As he should as a father. But then now my mother's asking me, who is it? Who are you sleeping with? Who is the father? Wait, isn't it a friend? Wait, isn't it a family member? Is, is that what she was saying in the beginning? Was it a family member? 
Isn't it like a cousin or something like that? Wait, if it's a cousin, then it just got 20 times worse. If it's a cousin, it just got 30 times worse. As long as possible. But then I just broke down and started crying even harder and told her who it was. So then we went to his house where him and his parents met. And my mother's telling his mother and his father, like, listen, your son got my daughter pregnant. And he burst out in tears. His mom almost threw him out the window. I would have ducked him. I ended up calling my aunt down there. And because my aunt was pregnant as a teen, she flipped. So I'm sitting in a chair. She literally jacks me up. Finally, somebody real. Somebody real. And he's like, why did you do it? Why did you have sex? And I'm like, because I wanted to try it. Everybody else was doing it. I had an itch. Who else awesome. is doing it? Is everybody else doing it at 12? Y'all, bro, I know what some 12-year-olds watching this right now. Y'all clappy people, man? Be honest. Just comment number. Ain't nobody judging you. Is you clapping? I mean, I'm judging you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm judging you. Is you clapping people at 12? I, don't, I didn't think that was a normal thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I personally did not think that was a normal thing. I'm running out of time. Part 8 coming. I told you I was coming back with Part 8. So, after everybody found out that I was having sex with him, and now that's gonna be my baby daddy, my mom was like, hell no, she ain't having this damn baby. His family was like that too. So my mom was like, we gonna need to do what we have to do so that way we can go ahead and get her this abortion. So everybody know January, end of January, tax time comes, right? So my mom was waiting on her paperwork to come in and she went to go file her tax. So my mom took me to doctor's care, if anybody know what that is, just to see how far along I was. Dr. Kara took blood and they was like, okay, she's only three and a half to four weeks pregnant. Okay, cool. But now my mama Texas didn't come in on time, so now we have to wait two more weeks. So that would make me six weeks. So we're waiting on, you know, her Texas to come in. And then they finally came in, okay? I'm running out of time, y'all. Okay, for now. So her Texas finally came in and I did not go to school. So she told me we was going to Georgia. And I'm like, okay, why are we going to Georgia? She was like, so you can have the abortion. So in my head, I'm like, why we just can't do it in South Carolina? And she was just like, you know, certain amount of weeds, you have to do it out of state. So now, me, his mama, his daddy, his aunt, and my mama going to Georgia. So we cruising in Georgia, and now we get to the abortion clinic. So the lady is like, you know, how are you doing? How many weeks are you? Now, at this time, six weeks. Six weeks. What you mean so by six weeks? What, what am I missing? She's talking to me about how to process it. So she lays me on the table and my mother is standing beside. So the girl lays me on the table and she has the vaginal ultrasound. So she goes to stick the vaginal ultrasound inside of me. And then once she stuck the vaginal ultrasound inside of me, hmm. Okay, y'all part It's two. a whole baby in there. I'm telling, sto uh, um, spoiler alert, it's a whole freaking baby in there. That baby ain't no six weeks, it's six months. So now she's sticking the vaginal um, ultrasound inside it. And of course I'm hurting. So she takes it out and she was like, I know it feels uncomfortable. We're gonna do it a different way. So now she gets the other ultrasound. You know, if you if you have been pregnant, they put it on your stomach. So she goes to putting it on my stomach and she like pressing hard down too, trying to, you know, measure the baby, see, um, like hear the heart beating off. Then she goes and said, uh-oh. And I was like, uh-oh, what? <laughs> She was like, nothing, mom. I'm going to go ahead and um, double check before I tell you anything. So she get the double checking and she get and writing stuff down. And I'm looking at her and I'm looking at my mom. My mom looking at me and, you know, we looking at each other. She was like, mom, she's not going to be able to get this abortion. And my mom was like, well, why the hell not? She, she said, because your daughter is five and a half months pregnant. Oh, my days. I bloody knew it. It was from the first time. It was from the first time, but oh my days, blood. Oh, how does a 12 year old push a baby out though? 12 year olds can't even do their times table right. What's going on? I was like, oh, hey, Harlot. So now I'm just hella pissed and I'm boo crying. Then I get up, you know, fix myself and go out the room. My mom's coming behind. Then his dad sees me storming out the building and he comes and hugs. Hugs? And I just like, Man, I slap the crack out of you. You sound stupid. I ain't I hugging you. No, my face. I ain't side. hugging my son either, bro. You pervert. Man, stop with all these ads, bro. I'm just trying to see the story time. I don't, these clothes is ugly. Just hurry up. Crying even harder. And he was like, 
what what happened you don't want to tell me right now and i'm just shaking my head like no i'll tell you later i don't want to talk about it so now we have to drive back to columbia and we get back to columbia but instead of them dropping us off home they took us to their house and they're like well we need to figure out what we're going to do with the baby and i'm just crying i kept saying i don't want the baby i'm too young i don't want a baby right now then they ask him what he think he's looking at me like i want to keep my baby i gotta come back for part 12. man what's part going 12? on bro? man what's going on right now man please tell me what's going on so now that we are at the house and discussing everything that's going on with the baby I decided to tell them I'd rather give my baby up for adoption. I don't want her to be around my mom who's an alcoholic. And once I mentioned the reasons why, he was just like, no, I'm going to be there for my baby. I'm going to take care of my baby. Boy, you was going to try and do it. You a, you a pervert. You was a literal pervert, my guy. You was not, you know, you don't need no kid. You still a kid. All this extra new. And I'm just like, at the end of the day, this is about me. This is not about you. I don't want my baby in a family. No. Nowhere around here. No. So now he's basically trying to plead his case. Him and his people trying to plead his case about the people want why to keep the baby. So my mother was like, at the end of the day, I already tried to make her have an abortion. I'm going to leave this up to her. So my mother was like, we can go home. You can think about it because I don't want this stressing you out. So we left, and I went home, and I just cried my eyes out. Y'all are so hilarious. But yeah, here's part 13. So now, of course, you know, I've been thinking about it. It's been several months I've been thinking. My due date is May 17th. So I'm like, at this moment, I got to make a decision for real, for real. So, you know, me and him conversated on the phone on what we wanted to name our child. He wanted to name Raven. And I was just like, okay. But ultimately, it's still my decision since I'm the mother. And then me being in love with him, I was in my head. I was like, "Damn, if I do keep this baby, me and him could be together. We can." Man, him. get on my face with all that, bro. Is you serious, woman? Talk about you still want to be together, bro. What's? Wait, how? You twelve at this point? You don't even know what that. You don't know nothing. You twelve, bro. Oh my days. Be together, whatever the case may be. Then my father got involved. Oh. And I'm the only girl. And when I tell you the definition of a daddy's girl, that was me. My father was not playing none of that. My father was like, You're not going to impregnate my daughter. She's only 12. Yeah. I'm talking about you want to raise a baby? Yeah. All I know is my dad hired a private investigator and it went downhill from there. Okay, y'all. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. So fine. I thought the auntie was real when she jacked him up. Where the father been this whole mother effing time, man? Where the father been this whole time? The father on something. The father doing something good. Finally, someone's doing something good for this freaking whatever the heck is going on. So, like I said, my dad hired a private investigator. And at this point, I'm being homeschooled. So, that was, what, the second semester of my sixth grade year? So, the private investigator comes to my house and introduces himself. And he lets me know, like, yeah, I spoke with your father in New York, and he told me about the situation. Now, he's wanting me to elaborate. Now, the private investigator is telling me how it all works, or whatever the case may be. Then, he goes and showed me pictures. And now, the pictures he showed me was of my daughter's dad and some other boys and even his brother. So now the private investigator is like, okay, so your dad told me the situation. I need you to let me know which one of these are the people that you slept with. And I'm like, and if I tell you, is he going to get in trouble? He was like, no, he's not going to get in trouble, but you should still tell the truth. I was hesitant, but I was like, it's the private investigator. So I picked his picture to let him know. Part 15. Man, come on. So it's getting juicy. This is getting juicy. Stuff happening. The investigator took the nose down and then left my house. I want to say it was like a week or two later. My mother gets a call from his parents, I want to say, saying that he been arrested. just went to the school. Picked him up. And they arrested him. So now here I am, again, in love with this boy. Stupid. Crying, like, no, like, what did my dad do? He done messed up my chances of being with him. It was a lot. And then my mother was like, okay, I need to call your father so we can see what's the plan. 
So now the private investigator is, you know, talking to my mom, talking to me, and talking to my dad. And they let us know, like, okay, you know, we did arrest him. And I want to say he was like in 10th or 11th grade. And this whole time, we're still in communication with the PI. And did I mention it had to be like a few weeks before my due date, part 16. Man, so, just get to it. You talking too much about nothing, bro. I don't care about nothing. You talk about the real stuff. So now, here he is arrested. And of course, I'm pregnant as hell. And prior to this, my mother had conversation with my dad. Y'all, when I tell y'all this, please don't go in. I'm about to go in. I did not want him to be in jail. My mother also did not want him to be in jail. My mother was like, at the end of the day, you know, he was 16 turning 17 when we were sexually active. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a baby. You know what I'm saying? It's 11 years old. And that person was 16. High school. Two years into high school. He, he. But he was already 17 when we found that I was pregnant. And she was like, he cannot do nothing for his child behind bars. So why are we locking him up? Why would you and want him to do something? Was 17, my mother was like, he's also a child. She did not agree with what he did. But taking him out, his child's life was not sitting well with her. So again, a few weeks before I gave birth, my mother did help him with posting money to his bill. Now, he may say otherwise, Man. but my mother did help. And then, of course, y'all, he got out. And now he's getting close to part 17. So now he gets out of jail, and when he gets out of jail, it's about the time for me to go into labor. So now I'm in labor, and it's his aunt, my mom, and then one of my friend's mom was there. My friend's mom didn't stay, but it was just my mom and his aunt. So now it's time to push. My mom's holding my leg on one side, his aunt's holding my leg on the other side. So I don't push my baby out after being sick. When you think Wawa, man, what's really dinner. going on, bro? How does a 12 year old gotta have a Wawa? How a 12 year old push? Come on, with all these ads. What's the, there's the no skip button on none of these ads, ads, man. How does a 12 year old push out a baby, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. A 12 year old is like, that's super, 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 super small. And how does it go push out a, a, a regular size baby? Because the baby don't come out different sized. It's the same size as a regular baby, but a grown woman's supposed to push it out. But how would, how would, how would, how would, you know what I'm saying? Because I was too small. And then of course my mother cut the umbilical cord. Now y'all, remember I said he went to jail. His charges were criminal sexual conduct with minor second degree. Being though that my father pressed charges on him, we could not be in the same room, we could not see each other. So while I was delivering my baby, he was not there. But he did come up to the hospital after I gave birth. Again, we could not see each other, so they had to close the curtain. Now here's the part where I made the decision to keep my baby. Because, of course, I didn't talk about 18. So after he comes to the hospital and he sees... Wait, I thought she was going to give it up for adoption. What happened? I thought that would have been like a better move. You know what I'm saying? Giving it up for adoption. You're 12 years old, bro. He's my baby. I decided to keep my baby. Now, I didn't decide to keep my baby because he was there. I had decided to keep my baby while I was pushing and my mom cut the umbilical cord and they put my baby on me. I just couldn't fathom the thought of me carrying a child for nine months and then giving her up for adoption after I didn't give her life. And of course, I was just so emotional. So I told my mom, I said, mom, I can't do it. I want to keep my baby. She was like, that's a hard pill to swallow, but it was my decision because I'm the mother. So now it comes to the part where we're naming the baby. Again, he wasn't there. He had to leave because we couldn't see each other and his peoples wasn't there after that. It was just me and my mom. But his people wanted to know if I was giving my child their last name. I was thinking, for what? What do I need to give her y'all last name for? So I told my mom to tell them she's not getting their last name. She was getting my last name. And again, I'm Y'all, this is part 19. So like I said, I did not give my child their last name. So I... This is so much mental everything for a 12-year-old too. Like having to make all these decisions. This is not, this is, this ain't normal. You know what I'm saying? 12 years old, bro. Came up with my baby's name. I named her myself. I gave her my maiden name and all. I wasn't no stupid little girl now. About my baby, no. She not just about to have her dad's last name just because you done helped me made her. Now, like, you got to show me why she needs your last name. Remember like, earlier when I was like, he I wanted me to keep her? So now she's kept. So now, you know, it's a few days in the hospital. They're calling up there trying to check on her or whatever the case may be. We tell them she's doing fine. And then, of course, a few days go by and then they discharge me. So 
So now here I am, just gave birth, 12 years old, recovering, because I got stitches down there. And now his family and everybody want to come down to my house to see the baby. Of course, me being me, I didn't have no problems because I'm like, that's her side of the family too. So of course they can come see her. Y'all, this is crazy. Bro, where the rest of the story at? Boy, ain't no way. What's crazy? How it, how it, end, like, how it end like that? Where's the rest of, bro, somebody probably the rest of this story, bro. Somebody um, ain't no way to, what's crazy? What happened after? How you end the video? Like, how you gonna put up a whole 28, 18, 18 minute video to end it at, this is about to get crazy, and it ends it. What type of stupid, man, this just pissed me off. The whole video just pissed me off, especially the ending. No, all of it pissed me off, and the ending just is the cherry on top of pissing me off. Man, somebody find me the last part of it so I can watch it. Even if I don't make a reaction video, somebody find me so I can just see what the heck happened after this. Bruh. Y'all don't even know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. I told y'all I would not know what the heck to do or what the heck to say if my kid, 12 years old, came back and told me she's pregnant. But I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to do. Leave. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you, you, you. Well, I wouldn't leave. They would just... They got to go, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. If you find the video, DM it to me on Instagram, at Juva underscore. Comment yourself drug free, dip out, you can buy two or third, free my lumps, and stuff. I'm going to see y'all. Out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, because I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.